Welcome to week four of our summer reading program, 2021, Tales and Tales. This week we've been all about sea mammals, from whales and porpoises to sea otters and walruses. We've been celebrating all things sea mammal. Now, one of the things that I like to do when I'm not working at the library is yoga. So I thought that today we could do a fun sea mammal yoga routine putting on our best imaginations and pretending to be some of these amazing mammals of the sea. So if you wanna join in with me at home, if you have a yoga mat, go ahead and spread it out. If you don't have one, that's okay. All you need is a space that you can move in where you aren't gonna bump into anybody else or anything and get hurt. Some comfy clothes and maybe a drink of water. All right, go at your own pace. Go ahead and follow along with me and be, have fun with it. Don't be afraid to get a little bit silly, get stretchy, and we're gonna work our sillies out together, all right? Don't do anything that doesn't feel good for you. Every body is different, so I might be able to reach down and touch my toes and you might not be able to. That's totally okay. Just go to where your body goes, all right? So follow along with me. We're gonna start standing with our feet together and our hands together in front of our chest. Touch your nose to your hands. Take a deep, deep breath. And now we're going to imagine that we are dolphins. And these are our dolphin fins. We're gonna go ahead and stretch them way, way, way up. And then we're gonna dive into the water, okay? If you can come all the way down to the floor, you can do that. If not, you might be here and that's all right. But dive down and then back up. Take a big breath at the top. Dolphins are amazing divers. Did you know they can dive down to a thousand feet? We're gonna go ahead and dive again a few times. Let's go. Splash into the sea. Back up, splash into the sea, and back up. Let's do one more great big thousand foot dive down into the ocean. And back up. All right, now we're going to keep one of our legs pointed forward and bring it up. And we're gonna take the other leg and bring it back and point it that way. Put your arms out to your sides so that your arms and this front foot are pointed the same way and your knees bent. This knee should be straight if you can get it straight and pointed the same way as your face, all right? We are going to be narwhals now and narwhals have amazing long tusks. They're called the unicorns of the sea because of those tusks. But did you know that that tusk is actually a really long tooth? So we're going to take our hand and our straight leg, and we're gonna reach down and bring this one up and imagine that that is our narwhal tusk. And if you can, touch your nose to your arm, stretch right up and take a deep breath. And out. Let's do that one more time. But this time we're gonna switch our legs around. So this foot should come the same direction your face is pointed. And this foot can go in the same direction as your arms. We're gonna reach down to that straight leg. Remember our other knee should be slightly bent. And reach up our narwhal tusk. Take a deep breath. And then exhale. All right. Now we're gonna come back facing forward. And we are going to imagine now that we are whales. There are so many amazing kinds of whales, but the one we're gonna to pretend to be right now are humpback whales, okay? So we're going to come down onto our hands and feet. Some of you, if you've done yoga before, might know this position as downward dog, but today we're gonna to call it humpback whale. So we're gonna put our hands flat on the floor or the mat and be on our toes. 
in the back. Stick our booties up toward the sky and our heads pointed down to the floor. Take a big deep breath and then let it out. Now did you know humpback whales don't actually have humped backs? They're called humpback whales because right before they dive, they make a big arch with their body. So imagine that you are a humpback whale diving into the sea and take a couple more breaths. Okay, now bring your knees down. And if your knees don't feel good like this, go ahead and put a pillow under them if you need to. Make sure your knees and feet are pointed straight and your hands are on the mat. Your back should be as flat as you can have it, almost like if somebody was to come along and set a plate on your back. You would be like a table, okay? And spread your fingers wide so that you have a nice strong base, okay? We're gonna point our faces forward. We're gonna arch our backs down and bring our heads up and take a deep breath in. And then we're gonna curl our backs up and bring our heads down and exhale. Now I call this pose manatee. Manatees are really cool sea mammals that come up about every five minutes or so to take a deep breath of air. So we're coming up and then we're diving back down. Manatees come up and dive back down. Now, if you've ever done yoga before, you might know this as cat cow pose. And fun fact about manatees, sometimes they're called sea cows. So go ahead and keep going with me a few more times. Breathe in when you come up and bring your belly down back down toward the mat and then curl up and exhale. One more time. Manatees come up for a breath of air and then they dive back down. All right, now we are going to come down onto our bellies. Okay, have your legs straight, your elbows and your arms on the mat and your fingertips touching the mat and push up a little bit. You don't have to push up a lot if it doesn't feel good for you. If it does, you can push up higher. We're going to be seals now. Now, seals and sea lions often get mixed up. The difference is that seals have smaller fins and they wiggle on their bellies when they come up onto the land. So go ahead and wiggle on your belly a little bit. Push up, twist if it feels good, but only if it feels good. Stretch out and pretend that you are a seal. Seals live off the coast of Maine. My family and I went to the beach a couple of weeks ago and there were seals swimming in the ocean. It was an amazing sight. Have you ever seen a seal when you've been at the beach? All right, now we're gonna come up and sit. So sit on the mat or on your floor and bring your feet together. Now, some of you may have your feet further away from your body. Some of you may be able to bring your feet closer to your body. Bring them in just as far as you feel a slight stretch. Hold on to your feet with your hands and keep your back nice and straight up and down. We are going to be porpoises, and these are our fins, flapping our knees up and down, just like porpoises. Porpoises are also sea mammals that swim off the coast of Maine. They are a lot like dolphins, but the main difference between porpoises and dolphins is that dolphins have long, beaky noses, while porpoises have round, short noses and round heads. So flap your flippers up and down and take a few breaths. Right, we're going to 
do one more pose together. We're gonna come into a straight position and lie down on our backs. Point your toes up at the sky. Rest everything, let everything stretch. And imagine that you are a sea otter floating on your back in the sea. Sea otters can live their entire lives without ever coming onto land. Isn't that quite amazing? They eat all kinds of things like urchins and clams. So go ahead and take your hands and put them on your belly. And imagine that you are holding an urchin or a clam or an oyster that you might eat later for dinner. And then take a few deep breaths and feel your belly rise and fall under your hands, all right? So let's breathe. Now let your feet fall to the sides and let your arms come to your sides. Sea otters sleep floating on their backs and while they're sleeping, they often hold hands with other sea otters so that everybody can sleep together without floating apart. So take a few more deep breaths. If you're doing this with a friend, a sibling, a parent today, go ahead and hold on to their hand if you want. Otherwise, just imagine and take a few more deep breaths floating along in the sea. If you want to go ahead and keep laying and floating on your back, you can do that. Otherwise, you can sit up with me and I'm going to give you today's secret code. So each week when you attend one of our virtual Thursday night programs, we've been giving you a secret code. If you're playing our summer reading game, you will have a passport that has a place to write the secret code on it and bring it in when you filled in any four boxes to get a free book from the library. Plus, your passport is also a ticket that enters you into a raffle for other great prizes that we're giving away this summer. So this week's summer reading secret code is PORPOSE. So if you just watched this program, go ahead and write that in your passport and bring it in. Thank you so much for joining me for two of my favorite things today, animals and yoga. I hope you enjoyed this adventure under the sea. I hope you feel nice and stretched out and that you had some fun. Thanks everybody, bye.